hey guys taps here welcome to my youtube channel in this video i want to be sharing with you how to migrate your website from one hosting server to another within the same hosting just migrating your website from one even domain to another uh, with the simple to use plugin called duplicator dabstutorial.com is one of my newly created website and in this tutorial i want to migrate it from one server to another i actually designed this website on ipage ipage usually is that hosting account i use for experimental purpose when a site becomes very valuable and useful to me i migrate it to a web a, a another hosting that gives me speed and other things i need i know i've done several tutorials in the Past on how to migrate your website even with very simple easy to use plugins but this one duplicator is one that is the easiest you don't have to worry about installing wordpress or doing anything you just have to copy and paste so let me show you how to get this done in this video okay so right now let's go back to the back end of this website uh, so this is the website so let's come to our plugin session and let's go to add new so let's search for that plugin duplicator okay so here's the plugin right here and this plugin has 1 million active installations so let's install this plugin and activate Okay, so I have this plugin installed and activated. And if you come by the far left hand corner below, you see uh, a place for duplicator. Uh, what you have to do if you hover around it, you see several options like, like packages, tool settings, and GoPro. Uh, you just want to come to the package session. I will be using the free version of this of this plugin. This plugin also has a paid version, like you saw a pro version that gives you a more advanced future, but we'll not be wasting so much time on that in this tutorial. So what we'll be doing here basically is for us to create a new package. So uh, we see that at the right hand corner here, we hit the create new button. So you can give this a name that you want, but I love to just go with the flow. I hit the next button. Right now, this plugin is kind of website to see that our website is good enough for migration. This usually will take uh, some few minutes, uh, maybe a minute or two, uh, really. Uh, I don't know, maybe depending on how heavy your website is or how heavy your files are. Uh, however, just, just let it scan and it will be over and done with. Okay, so our scan is complete and we can see that everything is good. WordPress is good. The system is good. Uh, but we have our files here. It's 314 MB and it's uncompressed and that's quite a little heavy. Uh, so we have this notice here and it's just for our file size for us to check. Uh, we've got to check to see that all our files are inside. But this is always not nothing to worry about. It's always good. Uh, I think that's the only thing there that maybe not so good and maybe that's because our files are quite very heavy. But again, it's okay. Uh, let's let's walk around with this. And you can see that from here, you see you can migrate large multi-gig site with Duplicator Pro. Those are the uh, few features you'll find on the Pro version. You would see that this is the one in here. Notice status has been detected. Are you sure you want to continue uh, despite the fact that our files are heavy? Yes. Uh, we want to continue with this, so let's build this package. Yes, we can see that our package is still building, and we have to leave it for a minute or two. Depending again on how heavy your website is, uh, you just have to give it time, let the package build. Once it's 100% is ready, then our installable files are ready. Our download files are ready, so we have to download them and then import them into our new hosting so we have two files to download here the installer file will hit the download button and also the archive file will also hit this button to download it as well so we have our files downloading this may take a while i again depend on our internet strength and also uh the server as well 
Uh, so let's let's give it time and let's allow this file download. Okay, I have my website file completed. I had to go away to do other things, and so we can continue this tutorial. So now that the website file has been installed, what I have to do next is for me to go to uh, my previous hosting uh, account, which is iPage, and if I come here, you will see Dabs tutorial is here. So. I need to point this domain away from my page and I need to point it to, to my new hosting, which is A2 hosting. So you can you can go to your domain registrar. Uh, what you have to do is to is to change the DNS, go to DNS and name servers, and then uh, for me I want to add new name servers okay so i'll be deleting the old name servers so as you can see uh my name servers has been updated uh to a2 hosting i would also have to add this domain as an add-on domain in my new hosting ideally the name servers can take up to 24 hours before it propagates uh, that's the normal standard but many times it takes less than five ten minutes too so let's come to uh, my new hosting account uh, this is a2 hosting so i come to add-on domains So all I have to do here is to add DAPS tutorial as an add-on domain. And then uh, the document root also has been populated. Then I will add this domain. So now let's come back to our C panel. Let's come to F file manager. And then we have a folder for tabstutorial.com. So I'll click this, it's empty. So this is where we are going to be uploading our installable files to. So we can use two options for upload. With the default C panel, there's an upload button here. And you can also use FTP. I have several videos on using FTP like FileZilla for you to upload your files. But I would want to just continue with C panel. I think it will still has that capacity to upload files that is that heavy so i'll have to select the file and then upload so this file is uploading we'll give it time we'll allow it upload Okay, so I have my file upload complete. Right inside our file manager, we can see both files that we uploaded. But again, okay, I think I can rename this. I need to take away this one. You won't need to do this because uh, I think I have one because I already have a file that is installed on PHP already on my PC. This is everything we need to do from here. What we have to do next is to load our URL. Uh, so let's open another page. So we can see that that tutorial now is loading for bidding and uh, it, that old website is gone because we've changed the name servers away to a new server. So now let's just load dapps tutorial slash installer.php which which is what we have here installer.php so let's load the same url so fantastic we have the duplicator setup ready for us uh so you'll see that we the setup is passed validation is passed we have options here uh, usually I don't mess with all these settings here, so I leave them as bare. I just accept uh, terms and conditions, then I hit the next button. So right now, Duplicator is extracting our archive files. Uh, we allow this go through again. 
we're done with first step and now we are in the second step and now we just need to install the database and then connect it here and doing that is quite very easy we can just do that uh, right now so let's come to mysql databases okay so here we have to create a database so i can just call this tab tutorial Okay, so let's go back. And then we have our database ready. Uh, I will just add a user to this database. I already have a user. So I'll come down to a user dApps and I'll add it to this database dApps tutorial. And then I'll add this up. And I'll give this database all the privileges by clicking here and then i can make changes and that's it we have a database created already so now let's go back so we have a database here and we have a user here so i would copy my database name and then i come to this setup here so basically uh yes my connect and remove all data we'll leave this as is for a to hosting uh, local host will do you have to be sure that your hosting provider also allows for local host for example i page my previous hosting doesn't uh, so you have to be sure and my database name i'll paste it here and then my user i can copy that as well And then my user password, I will fill that. So now let's test to see that our details is correct. Uh, so you can see that our requirement is passed, notices, uh, everything is okay. And then we have quite a uh, option here as well. As usual, I don't like to mess with anything around here. So I'll close it and then we hit the next button and this is just uh for you to confirm to see that everything is correct uh your server your database name and the username and once it is correct you can hit, click your ok button as well and you see that your database is installing and now this will take us to the third step uh, which is for us to you would see that we, the you would see that the plugin duplicator is able to pull details of our old website and my title is dapps tutorial and this is the url and this is the path and i think this is okay uh you can come here and replace url if you must uh, but you can only do this if uh you are on the pro version and you have some other options here like your username your password in case you want to change it from what you have on your old website so this is another option for you but I love my details the way it is. I just want uh, to migrate the, the, I just want to change the hosting alone. So I'll hit the next button and bingo 404, our site is ready. Uh, you would see that there is something here that says login into your WordPress admin to remove the installation files and finalize the installation process. This is not complete until an installer file has been completely removed so let's hit the admin button here and let's sign back into our uh, wordpress fantastic so you can see now that our files have been removed uh, as we got the notification here that you have to make sure that these files are deleted uh, so you can see that uh, we have the notification here. Uh, I have used this plugin uh, like once and I didn't get this uh, notification here. So I will just manually go back to uh, 
the my file manager like you see here initially you know we have this zip file so let me refresh this you see that we won't have that anymore let's come to that tutorial so you can see that we don't have those zip files anymore uh so in case you didn't see that notification there you still see those zip files here so you can just manually select the files and then hit the delete button and delete them manually yourself so that's everything you need to do just in case you don't just in case you you did not get to have this success cleanup uh, run on your WordPress. So I think that's pretty much everything you, you need to do. Our website has been migrated. And let's check the front end to see that the website is loading beautifully. Bingo, I have my website loading well and okay. So thank you very much for following this video. I hope you, uh, you see how to use this plugin. It's quite very simple and easy. For you to migrate your website from one hosting uh, server to another this will save you a good amount of money hiring a developer to do for you if you find this video very useful give me a thumbs up and if this video is able to help you migrate your website uh, using duplicator effectively uh, just thank you to me in the comment section below i would love to know that i did really help you just say thank you come on you can do that and finally if you have any more issues as regards this you can ask me in the comment section below i will try my best to give as much answers as possible as i can thank you for watching this video i would see you in my next video but make sure that you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you'll be the first to be notified when i post another awesome video like this up until then bye for now